It's borderline criminal what our leaders, so-called, have done or not done uh, with our economy, uh, with the status of our Golden State. All right, Jim, thanks for taking a couple minutes to talk with us about some of the problems facing California. We really do have to recognize we have serious problems, and that means that we then have to recognize and discuss them and then share some pain, and what that's what's going to be what happening. What do you think the biggest problem facing the state is right now? Well, it certainly is the economy and, and jobs, and uh, there isn't too much that California can do with regard to jobs other than reduce all of this regulation that's going on, reduce all of the numbers of, of public employees. You know, it's just simply wrong for a public employee, and of course I was one for a long time, to, get, to get a judge, and, and I have a retirement. So, <laughs> so it's a little hypocritical to say that public employees should not. Now let's talk about but, that just for a quick second. You know, when we have these lawsuits about pension reform or pensions, people who are benefiting from pensions, judges, are ruling on them. Do you see that there's a, you know, a uh, conflict there? That's an innate conflict, and, and I suppose you could go to federal court or you could go to Nebraska or something instead, but there is a rule in the law that if everyone is disqualified, then no one is disqualified. So, for example, if there were a lawsuit against California, well, I'm a Californian, should I not be able to sit on that lawsuit? But basically everyone in California but would how be out. Is it realistically for a judge to vote on uh, some kind of a pension reform or rule on some kind of a pension reform that's going to impact them personally, take Almost. away hundreds of thousands of dollars? Almost unlikely. Uh, judges, judges are supposed to do these things. But the problem, as we all notice, and Chris Street is a friend of mine, and he, he recognized this, and, and numbers of others as well, that you have the Board of Supervisors on on the one hand, who are the dealing county with, the, at the county level, that are dealing with the public employees. And the public employees' unions care a lot about who gets elected to the county board of supervisors. And then, of course, the supervisor has to give some payback. So no one has been representing the taxpayers or the people. And, and now look where we are. San Bernardino, as you know, just declared bankruptcy. And I believe, honestly, Brian, that every, every city in our state is bankrupt, that they owe more than they're going to have funds coming in. It's time that we really address this seriously. So public employee pensions, big issue for California and obviously union power. But what about the high-speed rail? That's kind of the next big boondoggle for the state. It is a boondoggle. I mean, the idea, and I'm not sure the figures, but California must commit $2.1 billion now, otherwise they'll lose $3.1 one billion dollars from the federal government. Well, look, the state doesn't have it and the federal government doesn't have it either. And the government shouldn't be involved in running railroads, for heaven's sake, and Amtrak or anything else. Yes, they can assist maybe in some easements or the rest, but it's just downright foolhardy to pursue this the way it's going. And it's a drain on our budget and our coffers. You noticed. <laughs> you know, absolutely. I mean, we, we just don't have that money. And again, I'll quickly say that we have Governor Gary Johnson running for president as a libertarian. He and understands these president. issues, I am proud to say. And we're running to win, uh, and it's not in this moral victory stuff. But we will build a coalition government, and the Democrats can't do that, the Republicans can't do that, and they're all fighting with each other. But we will have some leadership, and highly placed in our administration will be people from every party based upon merit of all things, and we will get things done. I'm proud to be involved.